Okay, so this question is a special request from one of the students in the community here. Um, this test is from 2018. I hadn't planned on answering all the questions from this test, but hey, anytime one of you want to request a question that you need help with, I have no problem doing that. So we see with this question that we start off with two equations. We have this top equation here, which is a circle. Um, don't forget that the circle equation looks like this, x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared. So we can see that that's definitely the proper format. And then we have a linear equation, right? This is in, in y equals mx plus b format. So the question says, which of the following could be the x-coordinate of a solution to the system of equations above? All right, so anytime I see system of equations... Right? And I just want to make sure this is very clear. I approach every question based upon strategy and based upon recognizing what I'm looking at from a stylistic standpoint. Right? So there's certain words that stand out to me, and I say, okay, anytime I see those words, I'm always going to think the exact same thoughts. For me, anytime I see system of equations, no matter how that system looks, right? we don't typically see a system of equations that looks like this on the test. But again, anytime I see the word system of equations, I'm thinking I can use elimination or I can use substitution. Substitution. Um, so elimination, typically you'll have two equations in the same format so that you can cross out X or cross out Y, solve for the one you did not cross out. Substitution, however, 10 out of 10 times, if there's already a variable isolated, like what we have here, that's the one to use. We're going to use substitution. So what do I mean? I mean, this question is telling me that y is equal to negative 2x plus 4. It's hinting to me that I need to use elimination or substitution by use of the words system of equations. So I'm going to take this y value right, what it's equal to, the negative 2x plus 4, and I'm going to substitute it into the top equation. So that would turn my top equation into x plus 2 squared plus parentheses. Instead of y, I'd have, I'll, I'll use double parentheses here, negative 2x plus 4, and then minus 3, and then squared, and equals 40. Now I have a single equation that only has x values involved. Um, so when I simplify this further... I am, I'm going to actually keep this the same for right now, x plus 2 squared. When I get over here, I have negative 2x plus plus 4 and minus 3 is 1. So I'd have negative 2x plus 1 squared equals 40. I can expand both of these things. Um, this is going to turn into x squared plus 4x plus 4. Hopefully you know how I did that. Basically, I'm saying x plus 2 times x plus 2 and foiling. So hopefully you know how I got that. If you don't, leave a comment. Um, and then the next binomial that's being squared here, that's going to turn into, let's see, negative 2x times negative 2x. That's 4x squared. And then minus 2x minus 2x. So that's going to be minus 4x and plus 1. And then I have equals 40. So again, same thing here. I'm just foiling negative 2x plus 1 times negative 2x plus 1. And by foil, right, I just mean first times first, outer times outer, inner times inner, and then last times last. So hopefully that makes sense. Um, now I'm going to combine some like terms. So I have x squared plus 4x squared, so that's 5x squared. I have 4x minus 4x, so those are gone. And I have plus 4 plus 1, so that's positive 5, so equals 40. I'm going to clean up some up here and make sure I have, uh, I'll just use this top corner over here. So I'm going to just take this here so we have space without erasing anything so you can see my whole process. So again, I have 5x squared plus 5 equals 40, subtract 5 from both sides. I end up with 5x squared equals 35, divide both sides by 5, and I end up with x squared equals 7, 
and then square root both sides, and I end up with x equals root 7, technically plus or minus root 7, but usually this test doesn't care about that. And therefore, the question is asking which of the following could be the x coordinate. So I just solved for x. x is equal to root 7, and that's why, and I use a different color so it stands out, the answer choice is choice A.